Let's go to Venetian. We've got it covered. Music from Madness and the Black Eyed Peas on the way. Who's your unsung hero? Tell us at strayfm.com. This is 97.2 Stray FM. Seven o'clock news, and here comes Jenny. And finally, there's going to be bloodshed on the streets of Thirsk. The town's becoming the centrepiece for a new horror movie called Inbred. Shooting starts in July, and locals are being called upon to start as extras. But the upcoming slasher flick has had its critics, as the director Alex Chandon explains. We were rather surprised to see the reaction of the mayor of Thirsk. I think he got the wrong end of the stick. Started saying things like, if Inbred is anything like his previous work, then I don't think he'll be really welcome here. I don't know if the, the intention was to give us lots of publicity but it's done brilliantly because the small story has gone around the world and um, he's actually done us a massive favour with his comment. And you can check out how to get involved online. There's more at strayfm.com I have seen a few strange things in Thirsk before so maybe a good setting for a horror film Can we so say that? Yeah we yeah, can say, say that, that. Yeah hi my name's Alex Chandon and I'm a filmmaker who's making a film called Inbred in Thirsk to begin with, Alex, I'd just like you to tell us a bit more about Inbred and what it's all about. Well, Inbred is a crazy, exciting horror comedy movie full of lots of blood and lots of action. And um, it's about a group of wayward teenagers who have gone on a community service weekend to a fictional little hamlet in the countryside called Mortlake, whose residents like keeping themselves to themselves. And, and an innocuous little incident one day results in a blood-soaked, demented nightmare for all involved. OK, so why did you choose Thirsk? Of all places, why was it Thirsk that uh, came upon the horizon to be a place to set this? Well, I'd actually, I've actually been to Thirsk quite a few times over the years because uh, I made good friends with Paul Shrimpton, who's a fellow filmmaker. So I've, I've been up helping him on his projects. And uh, just while I, while I was here, I just really grew to like Thirsk and uh, really liked the scenery around Thirsk, find it quite cinematic. I think the people are really warm and genuine and honest. And uh, so, yeah, if it's from hanging out in Thirsk and just thought, why not? I do believe this project has been met with some criticism, though. We were rather surprised last week to see the reaction of the, uh, of the mayor of Thirsk to our sort of um, little Yorkshire press release, which we just sent out just to say hi. Um, you know, we're looking for help in, in the area. He kind of, I think he got the wrong end of the stick started saying things like, if Inbred is anything like his previous work, then I don't think he'll be really welcome here, um, which I found quite, quite surprising. Um, and I kind of think, in, in a way, his comments are sort of similar to, um, you know, the, the, the idea that people have of small towns where they don't want outsiders in there. So, um, it's, yeah, it was quite surprising, but it's, it's um, I don't know if the, the intention was to uh, give us lots of publicity, but it's done brilliantly because this, this small story has gone around the world and... Um, We've been rang up all over the place and had um, over, 100, uh, over 100 messages of support on the website from residents of Thirsk and stuff like that. So uh, he's actually done us a massive favour with his comments. Thirsk being where it is, it's so unusual. It is something really different for the area, isn't it? I know there was a connection with all creatures, great and small, and James Herriot, but I don't know how much of that was actually filmed um, around Thirsk. But Paul told me that nothing's really been, been filmed there, which surprises me. I think that's why um, we're getting so much attention. And obviously, as an independent filmmaker, you mentioned just there, the more um, media attention, the better, really. Is it right that you want some, maybe some of the locals to, to pitch in and get involved? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we put an open offer up on our website, which you can go and have a look at, which is uh, Um Or you can just type in Thirsk Inbred in Google, because um, thanks to uh, the mayor... Um, the story's got everywhere. So, yeah, go to the website and, we'll, and um, we are looking for help from Thirsk. We've already got help from some local businesses. Um, we've had about half the town want, wanting to be extras in it. So, um, yeah, it's great. When are we expecting to see you up here? Um, well, uh, we're going to be up there shooting in late July, August, but um, I'm going to be going up there in, in a couple of weeks and I'll probably go up there a few more times before we um, start pre-production just to meet people. And uh, we hope to, we're going to have an open casting session in Thirsk, probably sometime in June, which we'll announce locally and we'll ad advertise it locally. Is that in terms of actors as well, so people can get, local talent can get in, involved actually in front of the camera as well? Yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be for extras for the movie, so, you know, anyone that, that thinks they could be a good 
a, a good inbred can come up and do uh, their best girl in face and um, you know see if we choose them for the movie. What in terms of being an extra, and, like in terms of being an inbred, what are you sort of looking for? Um, well, pretty much we're mostly looking for just really good faces. So um, I mean, I like faces which kind of just show a story in them. So uh, you know, people with good, um, yeah, like a, a weathered look really. Um, I mean, we've been contacted by loads of kids, which is sort of funny. Um, so I kind of like the idea of getting some feral kids running around. But um, really, we're just into people that have, like, you know, great, interesting faces with a story to tell. How long has it been in terms of, you know, because you've written it as well, um, how, yeah. how long has the entire process up until this point been? Um, well, I, I spent last year writing a few scripts, and Inbred was the, was the one that worked out the best for our time scale. And... Uh, we actually started work on it around Christmas, and uh, I did about three or four versions of the script before I got Paul Shrimpton in the last draft of it, which we finished uh, about two months ago. So I think um, all in all, and um, after the film's uh, shot as well, it will take about another six months to, uh, to finish all the editing and post-production. So all in all, I think it'll take about a year. I've been into horror films all my life, so... I mean, you know, it, it, in a way, it's not the most original storyline in the world to have, like, a group of teenagers ending up at a, a, a remote town where they get hassled by uh, the crazy inbred villagers. Um, but I, I think what I've done, I've amalgamated all my favourite horror films and um, similar stories like The Texas Chainsaw Massacre or The Wicker Man and League of Gentlemen, and I've just created something, you know, really refreshed and original um, and just something that I really think people are crying out to see, really, because I think there's been a bit of a dearth in the uh, the English horror sort of film scene, and uh, I'd like to do for Inbreds what Shaun of the Dead did for Zombies. And how long, if you don't mind me asking, Alex, how long have you been doing this for? Uh, uh, half my life now. I kind of well, I started off making films when I was ten, when I got bought a small Super 8 camera, and then I went to uh, university to study film, and then uh, I've just been making films that, or work, working on films ever since, because it's quite difficult the actual process and you know raising, raising the money. So I've had to uh, have another job to, to pay the bills, which has also been involved in films, be it art department or doing di- digital effects. So, uh, yeah, really, it's, it's kind of life's work, and, and this is everything combined, combined into inbred.